<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, suck it. Hey guys, it's Sean Mayo here, and uh, there's a great new feature uh, that's been requested a ton uh, for tactical arbitrage, and that is to uh, upload a CSV file to process against Amazon, uh, and uh, basically what this is going to do is let you create uh, a CSV file that you would get from uh, a wholesale source or uh, any kind of list that you may have uh, that would contain UPCs or ASINs or even just the titles. Uh, so if you have a wholesale supplier or retail or um, you know any kind of list you've even put together yourself, you can now process that uh, using tactical arbitrage against uh, Amazon listings. So if it has a UPC, it will be the same as uh, searching um, using the product search uh, in tactical arbitrage to pull the information uh, out of there. Uh, in this case, it'll be a lot faster. You'll already have the information in the list. It's going to check each item in that list and uh, compare it to Amazon and then uh, put it on your view data screen uh, just like it always has in the past. Uh, so I'm going to go through and show you how that works. It's still in your product search page. Uh, as you can see here, there is a new button that's labeled Use Wholesale List. So if we click on this, uh, you're going to see some new information. Um, you're going to see no store here. Uh, I created a new one. Um, I processed one of my uh, lists from um, a category I have from Walmart uh, that I happen to have a whole list from. Um, so uh, it's going to use a template file. Um, so what we'll do is, if you don't have anything in here, you can just uh, create this as a new one. And you could type in Walmart here. Uh, and then when you come back and do it again, you'll have that in your list. So you can just keep adding more um, uh, so you know what sources they are uh, to save uh, that information. Um, and what happens is when you go over to your, um, your results in the View Data page, it's going to tell you Walmart. Uh, now you might not want to do what I did um, because uh, if you don't want to name it the exact same thing as something that's in tactical arbitrage because you won't be able to tell the difference. Um, so maybe we want to label this search Walmart CSV. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is click on upload new file and you can get your template. Uh, there's a little bit of information you need to know here, but uh, at the bottom, uh, just like in the regular searches, you can see uh, you can download an example here. So when we click on this, uh, it's going to download this example and we're going to go ahead and open it so we can go over uh, how this all works. Uh, so um, some of the information you need to know is that the maximum number of rows you can upload uh, in a list is 2,500. So when we're doing a, um, a search of a website, you can do 400 lines. Uh, when you do uh, a search for Amazon Flips, you can do 100 lines. Uh, and uh, when you do a wholesale list, you can do 2,500 lines. Uh, but in this case, uh, you know, it's 2,500 different products we're going we're to be looking at. Uh, so please remove any data or accidental white space in your CSV that exceeds the limit. Otherwise, it'll be ignored. So it's just going to be truncated and uh, it won't look at that information anyway. Um, so it's saying anything over 2,500 is uh, going to get cut off. It only supports 2,500 right now. Uh, and uploading the file must be in this format. And as I rec recommend for any of the CSV lists, you're going to want to um, use the template. Uh, even when I create a list, if I'm using it for myself or one of the lists that we sell, it's going to be, um, it, they all start with this example template. So uh, whichever one it is, we use the example template that Alex has provided, and we go from there. And that's why they're all, they always work. They're always in the right format. You know, you get one thing off, and, and it doesn't work. So we're always going to start with the template. Uh, and as you can see uh, in the picture here, we're going to download this. But uh, 
you can see this has a title and UPC and price. Um, this one only has a title, this one only has a UPC, and this one only has an ASIN. So what that's saying is you could provide the title and the UPC, and if it's going to look at the UPC, if it doesn't find it, then it's going to go look at the title the same way it does with a web search. Uh, you can also just provide the title, and it's going to try and do a title match uh, the same way it does anywhere else. And uh, if you do a uh, UPC only, of course, it's, it can't do a title match if it doesn't find the UPC. So um, if you don't want to do title matches, uh, then you may only want to provide the UPCs, and it will only get those results. And of course, if you have a list of ASINs of products you've bought in the past or products you like to watch, uh, that are already on Amazon, you can always do um, that kind of search by only providing the ASIN, and, and it will, um, you know, check those. And you could do this upload regularly and get that information, uh, you know, consistently uploaded, and then save it. Uh, once you do it once, you can just save it, and um, you'll be able to just click that one button and, um, in the results page and. Uh, check that information over and over whenever you need to. Uh, and of course, in every line it has a price because it can't uh, show you an ROI or um, any of that other information without knowing what your buy cost is. Uh, so we're going to go over and look at the example. Uh, here's our bulk example, and this is showing the exact same information. So uh, we just went over what all of this means. Uh, so what we would do is, uh, here is uh, our sample file. Uh, so this list has about uh, 400 lines in it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the, uh, the information from the name line. And uh, we're just going to copy it, and I did way too much. And we're just going to copy these over into the template um, under title. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, for a UPC and price. I've already done this uh, for a list I have uploaded. So we're going to copy our titles, our UPCs, and our price. Uh, again, you only need one of these, uh, you know, having the titles and UPCs uh, does help, but you only need one, and of course your, um, your list that you get is going to uh, work completely differently. Um, it's, gonna, it's not going to look like this, but, uh, you know, in the end, uh, you just need a copy of the information, the data you need. You know, each wholesale supplier or whatever source you're getting, um, you know, your bulk list from is going to be completely different. So um, you just pull the lines that you need, make sure those ti um, the title row stays the same, and uh, that's really all you have to do. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go back over here and upload the file. We're going to browse and select that file. And here it is. Uh, so once we've created it, we're going to name it however we want. Uh, we're going to use the Walmart CSV name. As you can see, this information, of course, is grayed out. And we can use any um, any filters we want. Um, so these down at the bottom are going to come um, become very important. Uh, so I'm going to look at at least 50% ROI and uh, remove ranks over 50,000. Uh, actually, I'm going to change that to 100,000. And uh, these four checkboxes at the bottom are going to be very important for um, checking this list. Uh, so we definitely want to see things that are out of stock. Uh, this one's going to show only things that are out of stock by Amazon. Uh, this one is going to show no matches, and uh, this last one is going to see only no matches. So um, if it doesn't find a match, it's going to pop this up here. So if you select these two and have no filters, it's basically going to process uh, your whole list. 
Um, so you, you may be interested in doing that. Uh, if you do that, it'll send, um, it'll send every result over and it will, um, then you'll be able to download that as a spreadsheet again, uh, as another CSV file, and uh, you'll be able to um, get all of the information from Amazon uh, that you can use with your, um, your source file to make your orders. Now, if you only want to get the results that you want, uh, that you want to see, like when you're normally sourcing with stack of arbitrage, uh, I wouldn't uh, choose select no match, but know that that option is there. Uh, so once we click submit, it's going to uh, start a, a search, uh, and uh, here we are finding our results. So the first one, uh, it did find this UPC. Uh, so here's the ASIN that it's associated with, and um, it's going to show, uh, um, it's going to skip it because of the ROI filter, and, you know, as we go down, it's skipping the um, ROI filter rank. Um, you know, and so on. Um, and uh, so in this example, um, it wasn't able to find uh, an ASIN associated with this UPC, so it did a search by title, um, and it did find an ASIN to match that title, um, but it still uh, didn't match the rank filter. So, um, you know, here's a good one that it, it is adding, um, you know, so it's adding files, and as, as you can see, it, it does go quite a bit faster. Uh, it's already on number 28, and if we go over here, uh, and uh, reload the page, we may be seeing some results already. Okay, so as you can see, there's uh, four results here. Um, these items are, um, looks like some uh, replacement pads for some kind of a, um, a baby product, nine pack in blue, so that's what uh, this picture is. Uh, you know, here's some soap uh, that actually didn't match, and, you know, we can see if we can find a better match. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to mark these as mismatches, of course, because they're not products from, um, you know, the regular store searches, uh, but you can remove this. And uh, as you can see, there's no, um, there's no link, of course, to the uh, original product or a picture because it's not pulling anything from a website. Um, but you do have your names, and uh, you can still edit quantities if it's a multi-pack or, you know, um, you know whatever. Um, that may be all, you know, all the same information is here. Uh, you'll be able to, um, you know, recalculate pricing uh, and all that information. Uh, as you can see, it's, it says Walmart CSV now, so you know it's different from Walmart. And, um, you know, that's all there is to it. It runs through there, and um, you can run as many of these lists as you want. There, um, you know, there is a limit to the size, as I said. It, it only goes to 2,500 products to a list, but once uh, you have one list done, you can move on and go to another list, or if you have a list that's bigger than 2,500, just break it up into two lists or, or more than two lists, um, you know, to run them one at a time, and uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot.